In 1991, Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines erupted in what was the second biggest volcanic eruption this century. The cataclysmic effect caused worldwide cooling, which triggered sea levels to drop. But scientists say that the eruption has masked the accelerating effect of greenhouse gases on rising sea levels. Researchers from the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Colorado say that greenhouse gases are already having an accelerating effect on sea level rise, but the impact has been masked by the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo. Satellite observations only began in 1993, two years after the devastating eruption. These indicate that the rate of sea level rise has been fairly steady, at about 3 mm per year. However, the accelerated effect on sea level rise is probably masked due to the timing of the eruption, which temporarily cooled the planet. The researchers say that the lower starting point distorts the calculation of sea level rise since 1993. Dr. John Fasolo, who led the study, said, when we used climate model runs designed to remove the effect of the Pinatubo eruption, we saw the rate of sea level rise accelerating in our simulations. Now that the impacts of Pinatubo have faded, this acceleration should become evident in the satellite measurements in the coming decade, barring another major volcanic eruption. An increase in greenhouse gases affects sea levels in a number of ways, including warming the ocean, and melting glaciers and ice sheets. Although the pace of warming and melting has increased in recent decades, scientists have been surprised not to see a corresponding increase in the rate of sea level rise. Using computer simulations, the researchers found that Mount Pinatubo's eruption caused the oceans to cool and sea levels to drop by about 6 mm before satellite observations began in 1993. However, as the aerosols emitted by the volcano slowly dissipated, sea levels began to slowly rise to pre-eruption levels, delaying the recorded sea level rise to the late 1990s. These results suggest that acceleration of sea level rising should become evident in the coming decade. Dr. Fasolo said, sea level rise is potentially one of the most damaging impacts of climate change, so it's critical that we understand how quickly it will rise in the future. The researchers hope that their findings could be used to help coastal communities to plan for the future. Over the course of the 20th century, sea levels across the globe rose faster than in any of the previous 29 centuries. In a separate study earlier this year, scientists at University of York discovered that the 5.5-inch global rise is at least twice as much as would have been seen without global warming. In fact, they believe levels might have actually fallen if it hadn't been for soaring global temperatures.